Welcome, in front of me is a Motorola Edge 40 Neo and today I will show you how you can go to the setup of this phone. So, when you boot it up for the very first time you will be presented with this screen that you can see right over here and right over here you get to select your desired language. Now I'll be sticking with English which is selected by default uh, but you can find your particular language somewhere down the list here. From there we can select start and this will take us to the inserting sim page now we have two different ways we can do that we can either insert a physical sim by just popping out the tray at the bottom or we can add a eSIM. now i don't have any eSIM, and i'm not going to be inserting anything so i'm just going to skip this for now you can do that at any point after this setup without much of a problem now next page is connecting to wi-fi so here we have the list of wi-fi's that the phone is finding right now now with that being said, uh, you can connect to your network and if you choose to do so, uh, you will also have the page to log into your Google account and additionally, uh, date and time will be set automatically. Uh, well, if you set it up offline, it also gives us this pop-up. So I won't have the Google login page, I won't be able to restore apps and data and I won't be getting software updates and also uh, I won't have my time set automatically. Now, next thing, we have some privacy and uh, software updates. So we can go over all of these. If you don't want some of them, you can turn them off. From there, we're gonna select accept and continue. Moving on to the next page, which takes us to Google services. And here we have location scanning and sending user and diagnostic data. Again, you don't like some of them, you can turn them off. Moving on to the next page, we have set a pin. So screen protection or phone protection, however you want to call it. Uh, by default, it opts into a four digit pin, but you can click right over here to select uh, screen lock security options and choose either pattern or password as well. Now I'm going to be selecting, let's say pattern right here. I'm going to draw my pattern next, repeat it. And now it's set. Automatically, it also asks me if I want to add a fingerprint. Uh, I'm going to be skipping this, I don't really want to. Then we have stay in, stay in, just stay in. Okay, cool. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna select not now. This is just Motorola uh, stuff. If you're interested in it, you can allow notifications from it. I don't really care for any of these because there will be several of them. Uh, that's not all. Again, provide them with your email if you want to. Personally, don't like getting spam mail, so I'm gonna select not now and not now. And here we get to choose our system navigation. Uh, it's opting by default into a three button navigation, but you can change it into gestures if that is something, you, something that you feel more comfortable with. And once you select next, it automatically finishes up the setup and that's about it. So there we go. Now, if you found this very helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.